Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Welcome as always to this month's video. If you've been enjoying my channel and would like to stay up to date with all the monthly content, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom corner of your screen now. This week, the topic is strength and why strength training is so important for everyone. Uh, I mentioned this briefly, briefly in some of my previous posts, but I'll give you a couple of reasons. There are many reasons. I will give you a couple of reasons today why I feel strength training will benefit you, whether it's part of your goal or not. The first reason is it helps prevent injuries. Okay, so how does it do that? Most of the time, injuries, most of the time, I'll quickly talk about um, other ways of getting injured, but most of the time, injuries come from what I've seen for people who have been sedentary and not done much exercise for a long period of time. So they work in sedentary jobs, they go into the gym, let's say after five, 10 years of not doing any or very much exercise, and they start working out and all of a sudden they're injured and the gym or the run or the sport or whatever it is that you've done is what the individual blames for your injury okay now that is true in a sense but also what we've got to consider is why that happened now you should be able to go out with a run for a run without getting an injury you should be able to come in, into the gym without picking up an injury as well and all the other sports that you can do you know provided you're doing it sensibly of course so why does it happen? Why so often do people get injuries when they have been sedentary for a long time and start exercising? Well, it's simple. People's joints aren't ready for the movements that they are doing. Their fitness might not be ready either, but in particular, their joints aren't stable enough to perform the dynamic movements that are involved in stuff like running, playing tennis, playing football, squatting in a gym, lunging in a gym, all the various things that you can think of, all the various exercises that you can think of. You go from doing nothing, muscles get weak, the muscles support the joints, they support the connective tissue. That is why if you go from doing nothing to hitting something quite hard, relatively hard, because you think that's the right thing to do uh, to get yourself back in shape, then that's the reason you're, you're likely picking up injuries. The first thing you need to do is get involved with a proper strength program. When I say strength, I don't mean the typical low reps, coming to the gym and doing a balanced workout at a sensible load is where you start. We've got lots of content and information on my page here, but also if you are confused or not sure what to do to start with, seek out a good trainer who can help you start off your program at the very least. Now, the second reason that I think strength training is beneficial for everybody is because it helps with bone density as well as the strength of your muscles and connective tissue. That is probably more important. So this one is probably more important. You think about um, the conditions that you can get like osteoporosis, where bones can start to crumble. It has been proven that strength training or load bearing exercises helps prevent that from happening. So whether your goal is weight loss, whether your goal is um, an endurance goal, that you're going for a half marathon in, I don't know, six months time, um, you might think, oh, I don't need strength training for that. For these two reasons you do, for the reasons of injury prevention, so that you can perform the more dynamic task outside of the gym. And secondly, and more importantly, possibly for the long-term health, it helps keep your bones strong, pretty much, um, you know, slowing down the aging process, you could say, you could argue, um, if, you, if you wanna look at it that way, because you will be more active for longer if you have a good strength training, balanced strength training protocol in your weekly workout. By all means, do your cardio, um, do your activities, you should see strength training or resistance-based training, I should say, as an enabler for those things. So my advice to you all is to pick up some strength training, some gym work in a balanced way, seek out a good trainer, get as much information as you can and start doing it because it will benefit you 
in the gym, it will benefit you in your sports that you, uh, that you do, the running that you might do, activities with your children or grandchildren or nephews, nieces, but more importantly, it helps you stay younger for longer, enjoying a healthy life moving forward into old age. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really hope that's been helpful. Please hit me up with any questions you might have and I'll see you guys on next month's video.